Previously on New Zealand's Next Top Model. Do you think you can handle it? Just got to suck it up and get past it. New cuts and colours lead to tears and tantrums. I don't know what the freaking drama was about. A shark infested runway challenge saw more than one girl floundering. Uh -huh. You have to realise your outfits. I feel really comfortable. It's this really comfy outfit. <laughs> But it was nice girl Olivia who felt the bite of another average performance at her photo shoot. Ten girls remain. Who will be eliminated tonight? Today was elimination and we were all really emotional. Well, definitely a very hard elimination. My heart was pounding when I was standing up there and there was just the three of us left and I was really happy when Sarah called my name obviously but then it changed quite a lot when Olivia and Tara Lee were standing there. Still in the running towards becoming New Zealand's next top model is Tara Lee. She did such a good job and this week was so hard. I don't think Olivia deserved to go home. It must be harder for you, considering you're her sister. Possibly now I'll feel more homesick because it's actually like I am here by myself now and up until now I haven't been. I definitely thought Tara Lee was going home. I did not think Olivia was going to go home because her photo, to me, was a lot better. How did you feel being in the bottom two? Oh, it was horrific. I thought that was actually the best photo I've ever done. At this very second, I'm the underdog in the house. I got way too comfortable. I won the first two challenges, and then I thought it's easy being here, and that's not the case. I truly thought I was going home. Really? Yeah. I was just going to forget about that every time now. Yesterday, the judges said that all of Hosanna's hours of work had paid off. I think Hosanna is a genius for doing this. We all mocked her, laughed at her. We all thought she was a geek for doing it. And now she's in the top 10. I mean, I need to start doing that myself. We are just chilling out of the house and then all of a sudden, when the doorbell rang, everybody was running like, who's here, who's here? Hello. We were all really surprised to see Sarah at the door. She's never been to the house before. Mind if I come in? Come in. Yeah. I was like, oh, what's about to happen? My mind was racing. I just wanted to come and have a chat to you because I spent a lot of time with you, judging you, but I don't actually really get to hear from you guys. And I'm just interested to know who you see as competition and why you see them as competition. At first, I was a little bit freaked out because I was like, oh my gosh, I've got an impressor. Oh my God, I didn't know what to do. So, I've got a question. If there were two girls left standing, who do you think they'll be? Sarah certainly put everyone on the spot. If I win, Christabel will be second because I see her as the biggest competition in here, but like, I'm not worried about what she's doing, how well she's doing, because I can win it. Lucy. Who's going to be in the top two for you? I think both Rhiannon and Christabel because I think they're both young, beautiful girls and they have a look about them already that is like a model without doing anything. I think I'm in the middle of the pack at the moment. I'm not the best, but I'm not the worst. I haven't really come out of my shell. Rhiannon? Laura and... Either Asha or Christabel. I think they're more confident than I am when they're in the photo shoot. After the last photo shoot, I'm just like, I'm going to be confident. Plenty of time to improve on your confidence. Who do you think's going out next week? I think that's a really harsh question. I'm not going to be mad at you. Nobody's going to mind. It's a reality. It's a competition. If someone's going to win, someone's going to have to go. Lucy, because I think she hasn't proven yet that she can get to the top. There are loads of people I'd want to send home, honestly. Anybody but me, pretty much. Judging by last week, and the performance that was given by Terrell Lee, I would say that she would go home. You've got to take yourself outside your comfort zone. We're getting beautiful pictures of her, but it's the same face, it's the same look in her eyes. 
Laura, who's going to win? I'm going to say myself because I'm in this competition and I hope to make it all the way to the top. I said myself because I think that as long as I keep improving and do better in challenges, then that's something that could definitely happen. As for who's going to go home, I'm going to say Cheryl Lee. I think that she has a lot to work on in her facials and her eyes and, you know, maybe she'll be able to work that out by next week. Maybe she won't, so who knows? I think going home would be Tara Lee. Judged basically on how she's done the last week. I thought she wouldn't have lasted this long in the competition purely because she doesn't show how she feels to the camera enough. Tara Lee, how do you feel about that answer? I don't agree with it for one minute. I was in the bottom two, but I've proven two years old I've also been at the top and I can get back there. What about you, Hosanna? Tara Lee could be going home definitely this week. I'm not going home next week. I don't know why everyone's trying to get me out of the competition. Does no one remember that I was on top for the first two weeks and I had one bad week? But the thing is, Tara Lee, are you going to have a good day than a bad day? Every day has to be a good day, even if you're feeling like shit. Of course, I know that now, and I'm going to practice, believe me. It's amazing to actually find out what they think, like they were all talking complete crap, and Hosanna, I don't know how the hell she thinks she's better than me, but they're obviously pretty stupid. I definitely know what I need to work on, and I'm going to do it. Who do you think is going to be standing next to you at the end, then? Christabel or Arjo. So, Christabel, do you think you've got what it takes? I definitely do think I could, and I hope that I will, but... I'm surprised that everyone else sees that in me, actually. You know what you should be listening to, and you, you know what should be sitting really loud and clear? None of you guys are safe. Because you can all have an average week this week. If you want to stay in the competition, do the work and listen to us, and get to the potential that we know that you can. It was a really good experience having Sarah come because we got to have a deeper understanding of who we think should go home. Can you cut price? I can, but if I lose concentration, I burn it. It was actually really motivating. Quite a few girls seemed to think that I'd be in the top two. Something just went overboard. <laughs> I didn't really think that I was much of a threat, but yeah, I'm going to win this competition. <laughs> top two, the top ten. Five minutes into the nice dinner that we'd created, Terry Lee decided to start bringing everything down. The fact is none of you guys had five people in the house that you thought that you were friendly with saying, I think she's going home. Terry Lee was really upset that so many people had named her as the person that should go home. But there is a good reason. She was in the bottom two. We saw your performance of last week, and it's an easy reason to say why we think you should go home. Like, yeah, I was in the bottom, but they've always seen me at the top. I've done better than the majority of them. I think you're not understanding it from my point of view. I don't right? even care, like, seriously, I don't even care. Well, it sounds like you do. You don't know the... I wouldn't say we ganged up on her. I mean, when you're put in that position, you have to say somebody. Not saying that she can't do better, but she totally took it the wrong way and was just out of control. I just can't see how you guys think I'd be the next person going home. We don't think that. We were just saying it for Sarah because of what happened last week. Okay, we don't think you're going home. Because of the performance last week. You know? It's... Okay, I'd rather talk to Ruby than you. Why? <laughs> okay, family did have gone wrong. Family did have gone wrong. Evacuate, <laughs> honestly, evacuate. I thought everyone got along. <laughs> it's just a it's Apparently just not. one. Hosanna's an idiot, obviously. I, I think a lot of them are just little bitches. I see myself doing better in modelling than a lot of them. I'm the tallest one here. I've got the bone structure. Wow, I have to work on focusing my eyes. They can't grow any taller. In New Zealand's next top model house, we're not one for Cafe family at the moment. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so tired. Last night we had a dinner party and it was time to go to bed. We were kept awake for about an hour and a half. So you can be top five. Yeah, but no one's here. I know, just do what? Half the house said I'm going home. Who knows? People could be right. People could be right. But you know, oh my god, people could be wrong. Tara Lee was quite upset that a lot of people named her as the person that should go home. It was quite obvious that people would say that because she was the person that was in the bottom two. Yeah, not like people saying I can't do something. 
I do not like that. <laughs> and it was just silly that she spent all night ranting and raving about it and confronted everybody. Half the people in the house saying you're going to the episode. It's like, are you older? Shaved? Like, are you sure you want to say that? Every second word was the F word. I was like, oh my god, get over it, honestly. It's no f***ing I'm going home, seriously. Someone is. It was just annoying because we've got such a big day ahead of us, and I've tried this morning already. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? We'll soon find out. Love, Sarah. Ooh, what do you think of that? Do you reckon maybe a makeup challenge? You know how they do that one and you've got to put on like certain products and you've got five minutes and everyone's fighting oh for the mirror? God. Knowing like me, I'll get like the wrong shade of foundation and be like <laughs> Aboriginal or something. <laughs> Make your eyebrows orange. Yeah. I was really excited today. I thought a makeup challenge would be my thing. Because I like makeup, it's fun. <laughs> I'm not really in the zone for a challenge at the moment. Um, I kind of just want to go back to bed. You ladies have been through quite the transformation since moving into the top model house. But a real model needs to know how to change her look at the drop of a hat. So today, we have a super speedy makeup challenge with CoverGirl. When a challenge was announced, I was actually quite excited because makeup's definitely something that I like. And I thought that I would have a little bit of advantage over some of the other girls just for that reason. And to tell you all about it is Chris Kennedy Grant. Today's challenge is going to be a bit of fun. You have five minutes to play with CoverGirl makeup and create an evening look. Judging by how my last five minute challenge went, I wasn't very excited, like, because it was a bit of a disaster. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, it didn't quite happen. There's some products that you need to use. The first is True Blend Liquid Foundation, which gives you a nice natural look, even up close. Next is Outlast All Day Lip Color. Now, a hint to make it last is to apply the color base coat, allow it to dry, which takes about a minute, and then apply the top moisturizing coat. Then to finish your look, use the new Lash Blast Mascara, CoverGirl's biggest brush yet, to give you big, bold, look at me lashes that'll get you noticed every time. And to help with this challenge, we have a gentleman who knows your faces even better than your mothers do. He is our resident makeup artist and an international fashion makeup celebrity, Stefan Knight. I'm going to be keeping a really close eye on you today to see how much you've learned in the top model house and to see how well you listen. So, your time starts now. When Stefan said go, it was pretty frantic. Everybody crowded at the foundation area. God, the madness. It was a difficult situation because they didn't have a huge amount of mirror space, but they should know their faces well enough by now. Remember, girls, you've only got five minutes. They had five minutes, which is pretty hard, but there was a lot of craziness stepping on happening. Oh, my God, the insanity. Christabel was hilarious. She just grabbed the foundation, just splattered it all over her face, and then she realised it was wrong. Oh, my God. <laughs> Then she got another colour, rubbed it in like a maniac, stood back and went, this is wrong as well. Light that on. Take your time, girls. Make sure that you blend nicely. Make sure it's even. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. I started out well. I knew that everybody would run for foundation first, so I decided to do my eyes first. I think Lucy had an opportunity of winning this. She did the most amazing eyes, and she did have strategy. Problem was, she didn't listen about how to put the lips on. Her lips looked cracked and dry like a desert. She failed. I thought my makeup was, you know, it wasn't terrible. What's your idea here? Evening. <laughs> At the circus? One minute to go, girls. Remember, it's an evening look. I was quite okay with having five minutes to do my makeup because obviously I do my own makeup and so everyone should have known what to do. Make it work. Make it work. I think Tara Lee disappointed me the most. She knows that she has really pale skin and she chose a foundation shade that was a little bit too dark. Okay, ten seconds to go. Ten. Of course, the countdown started and Stefan's like, freeze, and we're like, oh my god. Five. Four, three, two, one, stop! Nobody's really fully done, but some girls actually looked really good. 
Ladies, it was like watching people put makeup on during a train wreck. <laughs> I think you did pretty well, girls, considering the limited space and the limited time that you had. It's a few little problems maybe with a bit of blending and some stripy blusher going on, but generally, well done. Lucy, you did really well. You saw that there was a big pile up there over at the foundation area, so you went and did your eyes first. That was really good thinking. And you've done a nice job. Thank you. Ruby, I like the way that you were working out certain areas of your face that needed to be covered. And you stood back and looked at yourself at distance. So it looked great close up and it looked good far away. You've gone for a strong lip colour, which is a really interesting idea for an evening makeup. It looks great. It really Thank suits you. you. Looks stunning. Tara Lee, come forward. The foundations are tiny but dark. Try and find the foundation that matches the colour on your neck. Foundation's wrong, but your eyes are nice. Back in line. I'm not happy that I was in the bottom two. I'm meant to be upping my game. I'm meant to be doing better and not worse. Christabel. What I laughed was just the way you threw all that foundation all over your face like you're painting a house. And then you go, oh, it's wrong. And then you grab another one. Oh, it's wrong. Thanks for the laugh, though. Yeah. <laughs> Considering all that, though, I think you've done a pretty good job. Hosanna. The blusher should just be on the front of your cheeks and then very lightly blend it out to the side of your face. You've kind of gone all the way up into your hairline there, which is a little bit 80s. Which I love. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely need to go home, you know, and practice, you know, getting to know my face. This was a very important challenge. And we have one winner. And the prize for the winner are some CoverGirl products that are not even available in New Zealand yet, plus a one-on-one -on -one session with our head makeup artist, Stefan Knight. Looking forward to it, girls. <laughs> and the winner is... Ruby. Congratulations. When I looked at the group to start with, I wouldn't have picked Ruby because I didn't think she had enough makeup on for an evening look. Ruby. Oh, oh my it's called God. Black Ruby. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I was surprised that I won because Lucy, she does great makeup every day and she just likes that kind of thing. Now guys, I want high fashion, not hoochie. I thought my makeup was alright. I mean, we only had five minutes, so I couldn't do huge exaggerated eyes. On your sides. This is good as a gentle, like a seal. <laughs> now work those jandals. Oh no! <laughs> That's a good photo. <laughs> Shot. I'm so excited about winning the challenge this week because I hope I can like prove myself a lot more in this competition. That's I really want to. When we got back to the house, we were practicing in the mirror, and Tara Lee and I were kind of on edge before then, and um, that kind of relaxed things a little bit. I need to start practicing. I've been relying too much on my appearance. <laughs> I can't do sexy. <laughs> It is hard here, like I thought being a model you went in, you got your hair done, you got pampered and then you went off and got a shoot. But it's not like that. <laughs> but that's good. You I think that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Competition wise, every girl here is my competition. There's not one person over another. The judges said, you know, you've got a strong face, you know, you're the girl next door but you're also quite tall and stuff. But they just say to me that I'm determined. There's no yeah. feature on my body that actually stands out. I'm probably my biggest competition because if I don't, you know, if I don't try hard, I'm going home. I think it's harder to stand out being at your height, so I think you've done really well to get through this bit. You go out west, stay beautiful. Hello, Sarah. Woo! Can we dress like whiskey bargaining? Can we tell you to be beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely feeling the pressure for the photo shoot because you're only as good as your last photo, you know. If you do a really crap photo, then you can still get sent home. When we got style mail, I was kind of expecting something to do with like Wild West, but um, come here on a beach, it's like, okay, where did I go wrong? Morning, girls. Morning. So here we are at Bethel's Beach on the west coast. 
This is going to be your first couture shoot. <laughs> Not a lot of models get to model couture, so I feel very lucky. Shooting it today is the very stylish and very cool Karen in the bits and Walla. So I'm going to have to work you really hard today because not only are you competing against each other, but you're competing against the elements. You're also wearing very strong structured garments. It's going to be a tough day, but a fun day, so good luck. I want you to work hard and blow us away. This is pretty out there. A few of them I don't think had even heard of Couture before, let alone modelled it. You get these amazing dresses, dramatic, historic sort of reference. So there's a lot for them to work with. The stylist tent is so amazing. Like It's pretty much every girl's dream. My garment is quite full on. I've got a really big train and then I've got these puff sleeves and a vest that actually looks really cool. It's like a costume, I love it. That's it, great. Just keep that face strong, like, yep. That's nice with your hand up on your head, yep, great. Before I went on my photo shoot, I did practice in the mirror. I worked with a few angles and pulling the skirt up and letting it fly off or whatever. Keep standing tall. Okay. Because otherwise it's going to make you look dumpy. I totally felt like I could deliver what Chris asked me. We have been doing a lot of photo shoots and I'm getting used to it. Okay, one more shot for you. Thank you very much. When I was working after the photograph, I was amazing in my dress and I was really happy. Okay, Aja, we're ready to go. Just really ham it up and maybe even a bit sexier than you're comfortable with. When Karen was taking the shot, she told me to warm my eyes and look really sexy in the eyes, so I was floating with camera. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. That's, that looks sexy. That's great. And that was good. She likes it. Put that strength back into your shoulders every time. That's it. Aju's beautiful. She, she blows me away with how beautiful she is. I just worry that maybe she only has one look. It looks like she wants to kill you. Right, yeah. Well, I thought we'd break it up a bit, maybe have you lying down. I was quite shocked because I was practicing on my photos and standing up. And they're like, oh, actually, we're going to be you lying down. I was like, oh, OK. Not too exaggerated like that. It's a bit more natural. You probably have a tendency to overwork. Naturally, I try too hard. This is a competition and I won't just relax and <laughs> pose. But more front on to camera, it's looking a bit odd on the angle. Great. You don't have to accentuate it so much that it starts to look a bit ridiculous. Yeah. So next time, if you get another chance. <laughs> I hope so. By the end, Chris said, if there's an next photo, so <laughs> to get me worried a wee bit, yeah. I'm not sure how I'll go in the photo shoot. I mean, I haven't really practiced any couture poses. I thought that your um, beauty shot was amazing, and I want you to show me that it wasn't a fluke last week. OK, I can do that. And shooting. Bring your face slightly around to me, that's it. The skirt kept flowing my face, and it was kind of annoying, but I, like, I worked with it. That's really good. Hold that. I think I've proved Chris wrong in this photo shoot. And the only thing I'm not liking is the arms. It's looking a bit forced. Rhiannon, I'm still just a little bit unsure about. I don't look at her and see her moving effortlessly. That arm still looks a little bit like there's a bit of weight on it. And I just wonder whether she's too young or whether she's got enough life experience. Oh my gosh, Lucy, you look great. Now I really know what Couture means. I would describe my look as Victorian meets Maori princess. What's on your shoulder? Um, a pheasant. Yeah. Definitely not something I'd dress myself in for everyday wear, but definitely couture. You try front on. Yeah, let's just keep it relaxed. She probably was one of the hardest for me. I was getting a lot of frowns on her forehead, having trouble just getting the face to relax. If that was a guy that you really loved, that look that you'd give him, okay. what would that be like? <laughs> um, I don't know. I can't do things on the spot. Chris said that I needed to think of an emotion and show that through my eyes and I said that I can't do things on the spot which probably wasn't the best thing to say to the judge. You could lift a shoulder to me, that's great. Models have to be able to just pull things out of the bag so they're yeah, not that impressive. I did have a strategy to go kind of for a ballerina -y kind of thing, you know, because this is kind of ballerina -y. But then I got there and she had me sitting on a box instead. Great, Christabel, so keep doing what you're doing. It's great to keep those arms really strong. My favourite would have to be Christabel. I'd want to shoot her straight away for something. I think she's amazing. You're doing so well, Christabel. That's gorgeous. I think my shoot went pretty well. Well, I hope it does. It was only like three minutes long. Thank you very much. Superstar. 
a good man had his tea party dress. I don't know what Haika Jura is personally. I, my guess is that it's the photographs of the girls who look kind of untouchable, unattainable. I'm not sure that. If you can really nail it with your face, you're going to get an yeah. amazing shot. Yeah, you're working your body well. That's cute. Just push that real sexiness just that little bit more. Well, I'm hoping I do really well today because I've been practicing, like, relaxing my eyes, showing emotion, rather than looking blank or just angry. This is going to be harder than the last one. I think she's really going to have to work her eyes. Sexiness is good. Beautiful is good. I've been practicing flirty because you keep on saying flirt with the camera. Oh, yeah, that's quite good. Flirting with the camera is good. I don't actually see myself as a sexy person. Like, because I was raised Catholic, maybe that's got something to do with it. Make this one good. It's your last shot. Nice. When I put my outfit on, I didn't really like it. It was like this massive circle with a head hold that somehow the stylist made work and she put this massive bum sack on me. It's dramatic, you know, and that's the thing. So yeah. you just got to go with the drama. Try my best. All right. You're posing really nicely, like kind of relaxed but strong, so that's good. I really enjoy watching Laura works. The way she moves, it's graceful, effortless, and I think she's got what it takes. Just keep the sort of the strength and the sexiness and the beauty in your face. Yeah. More of that kind of thing is good. Great, thank you, you did really well. My shoot felt like it finished before it started, which hopefully is a good thing. It was quick, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. But even then, that you were really good, you were really terrible. Yeah, so you're going to sit on it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was feeling extremely nervous and my main concern was just to do exactly what she told me to do. Hosanna was beautiful. As soon as she sat down in her picture, she looked amazing. That's going to be good. That's good. You look great. I think her only setback was the more I told her about trying to loosen up her hand, the more it sort of stiffened. So I just think she probably needs to work a bit more on that. I, I want something kind of like just spontaneous. And that's a bit knuckly. It's, it's taking over your photo as this hand. You've got a beautiful, exactly. striking face. So it's just about making what you're doing look natural. I was a little shocked when they said, you know, I've got quite a strong face because I don't think I do. Beautiful. Great. There. That's great. You did good. I'm not nervous. I'm definitely not nervous. And what do you think about your outfit? I like it. I'm like a walking disco ball. <laughs> <laughs> I sparkle. Because the shirt is couture, I think the person this really suits could possibly be Rebecca Rose because she's really into fashion and she is very editorial. Um, so if you can try lying down for me. Yeah, that could be nice. That's, that's good. You got me to do what looked like press-ups in the sand. <laughs> it was a pretty awkward pose. I won't need to go to the gym after this. <laughs> Stay around there and just give me some other face angles. Give me something sort of the same but slightly different. Looking really beautiful, Rebecca Rose. Yes. I got my shot in like 10 shots. That's quite amazing. <laughs> that's really nice. Well done, Rebecca. Well done. <laughs> I've never been out to the West Coast before, so it was such a cool experience. The whole competition's brought along so many cool experiences like that. The girls are great. I was actually really impressed that of the standard, and there's definitely real models in there. It's time for you to meet the judges, but only nine of you will go on in the hope of becoming New Zealand's next top model. Love, Sarah. Mm, elimination today. Did you hear the Sarah mail? No, what was it? Um, we have an elimination today. Oh. If I go home today because I didn't do well in my photo shoot, I'm not going to be happy with it because I tried really hard. I'm really competitive. I really like to be in the first couple of names, maybe the first two names to be called to take the photo because I want to feel like I've made a good effort. Possibly for one person, could this could be the last bit to stay the happier. Sad. It's quite sad. Yeah. All the girls have said that they've felt really positive about their photo shoot, so you just don't know. So I'm a little nervous for that reason. I really don't want to go home. I'm quite happy with my place in the competition at the moment. I do really want to win this, and I think I have what it takes. I have no idea who it could be this week. It's mm -hmm. so hard. The people that I want to see in the bottom two are Tara Lee and Victoria. I mean, Victoria irritates me a lot. And Tara Lee, I think she needs to go home because she can't hack it in here. I'm not stressed at all about going into elimination. I've done my best to work on myself, and I do think that I have a lot of potential being here and then I should be able to get to the top. Every week you say you're going home. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody believes you anymore. Okay. I genuinely believe that Tara Lee may be the next person to leave because week after week she can't break out of the sadness in her face and 
that's not going to help her in this competition because she can't keep taking the same fighter week after week after week. Hi girls. Hi. Well you've had an interesting week and I've had an interesting week getting to know you. You've learnt a lot in your time here, but believe me girls, there is a lot more left to learn. And the girl who learns the most will win an eight page editorial with Clio magazine, a one year contract with CoverGirl Cosmetics, representation with my agency, 62 Models, a trip to Sydney to meet with Ursula Huffnagel of Chic Model Management, and then girls, she gets to go to New York. So, if you want to go to New York and meet with Next Model Management, then I suggest you impress my panel. Chris Sisarich, photographer extraordinaire. Hey girls. Colin Mathura Jeffrey, style guru, and Elvis impersonator today, I believe. <laughs> Thank you very much. And today we are joined by Karen Inderbitson Waller. Not only is she an amazing photographer, but she is a gifted stylist. So girls, she knows what she is looking at. Hi girls. So, it's time for your individual evaluations. Christabel. How did you feel about your week? I think the photo shoot was probably the best part of it because the makeup challenge wasn't so fabulous. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Insanity. And you felt comfortable with the photo shoot? Yeah, it was really short, but I, I don't really know what to think about that, but I took it as hopefully a good thing that you got what you needed. Right, let's have a look. Wow. It's just so beautiful. Thank you. It's this harmony and proportion. Yeah, I love it. The reason the shoot was so quick was because I got the photos really quickly. The very first lighting test shot I did of you, I could have used. I thought you were amazing, Christabel. Thank you so much. You know, it's quite a big pose that you've pulled but you still made it look really comfortable and, and that's kind of the real key. Yeah. I actually think you could push it even further. So although I do love the shot, I think it's beautiful, I still think there's a whole lot more in there for you to learn. Okay. Thanks. Thank you so much. Come on, Ruby. I've given you a bit of a hard time about your attitude. We bet. <laughs> do you think it's improved this week? I think so. You had quite a full-on outfit to wear at Bethel's. Should we have a look at it? I do like it. I definitely like the setting as well. I don't like the photo. To me, it looks like a ball photo. I yeah, I it's... don't particularly like the pose. I mean, I was getting instructed to go taller, but it obviously didn't didn't click in here, maybe. Oh, Ruby, that's practice. Yeah, that's I... practice how to work out you're tall, but how to be magnificent. Yeah. And at the challenge, you looked so casual because you were set apart from everyone. You stood right back, you looked at yourself at distance, and you won. I actually thought you worked really well for me and um, I mean you improvised and put your arm up because you were sort of drowning a bit in the outfit but then once you relaxed into it I thought you were really good so thank you. Thank you very much. I'm not convinced your hand's right where it is. It's a little bit kind of bridesmaid at a wedding type gig thing for me. That type of garment is a very editorial shot which means you can hit a really unusual angle because you can carry them. Alright. Thanks. Come on Lucy. How was your week? I really enjoyed our um, challenge this week with the makeup, although I didn't succeed as well as I would have wanted to. Let's have a look at your photo. I like the feathers. That's about it. Mm. I look at you and I just see this really amazingly beautiful face, but I think you have some trouble just translating that onto film. You're just holding tension again in your face. Yep. What's that saying? Angry, constipated. It's not you, you're so much more beautiful than that. So much more. Yeah, I don't like my face in that photo at all. Mm. I'm not happy with that photo, unfortunately. It was probably my least favourite and I had a lot of trouble getting you to lose the thinking face. Yeah, I definitely was trying, but obviously... Sometimes it can be too much. Trying too much can, can ruin the photo. Thanks. Thank you. Hosanna, come on. Hello. Let's have a look at your photo. I think it's amazing. Thank you. I think you've got to now learn to be a bit more present in the moment. Just relaxing more and not... Yeah, being yourself and just letting your natural person come through and just be. 
The only downside I think is you, I kept trying to get you to keep your arms out and stuff and your pose just sort of slipped each time. So it's just about maintaining your pose within the shot, but otherwise I thought you looked amazing. Thank you. That is a beautiful photo. I could see that in a magazine. Your eyes are so piercing. Good on you. Thanks, Susanna. Rhiannon. How'd you go on that makeup challenge? I think I went alright, except for like, I had a whole lot of eyeshadow like getting bigger and bigger in my eyes, so I did... it was messy. <laughs> it was huge! I thought you were going for Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, it was insane. Let's have a look at your photo. You're 16 years old and you have these gorgeous long limbs, and for some reason you've squashed your arm in against your body and you've thickened your arm and you do not have thick arms at all. You've dropped your chin down so your neck's basically disappeared and your eyes have become very hooded. You look evil in that photo. I eat raw meat. <laughs> yeah. With you what it comes back to is just kind of knowing your body and how to work your body fluidly. I thought you had a lot of trouble with your arm and just distributing your weight. So I do worry that like in a full editorial when you have to do like eight pictures that you might be hard work. But I do I do like your look so I just think you need to work on that. Thanks. Tara Lee. All right. Got a bit of a fright, didn't you? When the girls all said they thought you were gonna be first to go. Mm hmm Do you think you showed them in your photo shoot? I tried my best, I've been practicing, yeah. Let's have a look. What do you think? I definitely think I look softer and not so hard as I usually do. I think you've hit quite a good pose. Mm -hmm. I think your face is an improvement. I don't think you're there yet, but it's not bad for me. Okay. Breakfast at Tiffany's afternoon tea at Bethel's Beach. <laughs> That's what it says to me. I like it. It just worries me. You seem a little sad to me, and I just I worry about whether this industry is going to be okay for you. I think I'm learning more like by living in the house with the other girls. Like usually if I don't get along with people, I just keep them out of my life, but I'm learning to adapt to other people. Who aren't you getting along with? I feel like I'm trying to get along with everybody. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Arjo. Hi. Hi. Did you feel good about the photo shoot? Yeah, I tried my best. I've been practicing and so I think I did well better than last week. I actually love the photo. This is my favourite photo. I love the way you've got your arms up. I love the definition in your shoulders. That's a full-on hat and dress to work, and I think you nailed it. Thank you. You've been listening, and it's really paid off. Your face is beautiful. There's warmth. You're connecting. Thank you. My problem with the picture is you don't have a neck, and I think that you could have done a bit more in that regard to shape yourself up. I think you're amazing, Arjo. You listened to me, and when I told you to warm it up, you did, and I think you got the results, and you deserve it. I did see a light in my face. I think it's better than my first one. Isn't that what we've been trying to tell you for weeks? Yep. I think it's great. I love your eyes. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Victoria. How did you enjoy your week? I wasn't so sure about how the photo shoot went yesterday. Well, let's see how it looks then. I think it's an okay shot, Victoria. I don't think it's the strongest one you've done, and you know I feel you're capable of a strong shot. Yeah. I think what you're doing is you're overthinking your poses. Things just don't look as relaxed and natural as maybe they should. Okay. Yeah, I think you need to learn how to work with that amazing body of yours and work out what you would perceive are your strengths. In a photograph. I really do like your look. I just think you need to just tone down your posing and just make more baby movements and let the photographer direct you to how they want your body to go. Thanks. Thank you. Laura. Let's see how you went. How did you feel about getting this outfit? I was really gutted about it, yeah. I thought that I let most of it go before I got in front of your camera, but probably not entirely. Your eyes are great. But everything else turns into a beach ball on the beach, mm, you know. I see that. That garment was a bonus, not a negative, and you made it a negative, which is a real shame. The colour looks great on you. Your makeup and your face look amazing. Yeah, I really enjoy watching you model because you have a, a real ease about the way you do stuff. The only thing that I think you need to be a little bit aware of is just your neck. 
and I think you were a little bit put off by the clothing. Mm. So you just got to get over that really quickly. It's very annoying when you're a stylist when the model has an opinion about the clothes because it's really not your job to like it or not like it. You just got to own the outfit no matter what it is. But I think you did really well. Okay, thank you. Was it comfortable? Does it matter? It was actually comfortable. Excellent. <laughs> then there was nothing to complain about. Rebecca Rose. Last week everybody gasped when they saw your shot. That'd be pretty hard to pull off two weeks in a row. Do you think you've done that? I don't know. I hope I have. Let's have a look. I like it. <laughs> you've got the most piercing eyes and they really do draw you in. But in that photograph, you look like an underfed anaconda. <laughs> if I saw something like that crawling up to me on the beach, I'd be squealing, you know? <laughs> I still love the way you move. You, you always move really gracefully and you move from shot to shot, which is amazing. And I think if you could apply that to your face so we're not seeing the same face, mm -hmm. I think that would be great. Okay. The only fault I'd have would probably be the way your fingers are, but you worked well and um, you made my job easy, so I liked you. Cool. Your stare is compelling and I don't want you to change that, but I want you to add to your repertoire. Okay. Thanks. So, are you all feeling confident now? We need to deliberate. One of you's going home. Take off thanks to Pacific Blue. Answer this week's top model question at tv3.co.nz and be in to win a trip to one of four Pacific Blue destinations. We need nine girls, we've got ten photos. I was incredibly disappointed with Rebecca Rose this week. The intense stare, been there, done that. She looks frightening to me. She looks like she's hungry and gnawing at herself. She looks like she's out of Under the Mountain. <laughs> she's got a really unusual look, but I think that sort of slight alien look can work for some people, but she just needs to break it up a little bit because the repetition of her face looking the same all the time is definitely going to go against her and mean that she's not an editorial model. You should lend her a few looks, Colin. You've got quite a few. Mm. Tara Lee, body was a lot better this week and her face was still not there for me. I absolutely agree, she needs to lift her game in this. I love the photo though. For her to be really successful, she's going to completely drop her guard and just bear her emotions. Can she? I don't know. And can we put up with that kind of emotional nuclear bomb? The low energy, I don't like to be around models with low energy. She's listening, I'm just still 50-50 on whether she can actually deliver. Mm. Ruby, I hate the pose, but I've been slightly impressed by the better attitude. There was no bad attitude yesterday, I didn't pick up on that at all. I actually thought that the pose was quite good. If she'd had her Our arms down, look good on anyone. she would have just been this big black thing. That was something that she added, and she kind of needed to do that, because before that it just wasn't happening. I think she's beautiful, great energy, lovely to be around. I think she's a beautiful New Zealand Māori girl, and she has the potential to be a model. She's pointing in the right direction. Positive. Hosanna. I've been the biggest knocker here and I'll hand it to you. Well done Karen, it's a great shot. Well, yeah, I, I didn't have any problems with her. As soon as she sat down she sort of leaned forward and looked amazing. I had no doubts about her. If we look at how much she practices in her body of work, she wants it more than anyone. The girls have kind of ridiculed her a bit for all the practice and the walking and the posing and the mirror and all that kind of stuff, but they're starting to now think it's maybe not such a bad idea after all. Well, definitely, yeah. If she's winning in her photos, then maybe they all might have another think about you know, How much ridiculing they? her. Yeah, that's working for her. Rhiannon, she's really starting to look impressive when she comes in, but whenever she's in front of the camera, we keep getting this kind of disconnect where her body and her face don't work and they're not really improving from week to week and that's a real concern for me. She's awkward, she doesn't move, she doesn't know her body, she doesn't know her face. Yeah, she found it really difficult yesterday. Um, we were telling her to shift the weight off that arm onto the other one and she just wasn't really coping with that. She is a woman on the outside and a little girl on the inside and that's a big problem. And we can't use the 16 year old thing as an excuse because Christabel's 16 and she's holding herself with poise and to me she's just not almost mentally or emotionally ready to be doing this. I definitely think she's someone who could be a model but maybe just not yet, she has a lot of work to do. Arjo, I love this photo. She's actually just started to get some light into her eyes. She has listened and taken on board what we've been telling her. It's just made a huge difference in the picture. And you know what else? I think that she's becoming comfortable in this environment. But when we first met her, it looked like she, would, she could drop everything and run. Visually, I mean, she's incredible. Her body's 
beautiful. Her skin's amazing. I think she's got one of the best bodies, actually. Lucy. I'm not sure what she's got. I had huge problems with directing her face. She's got a pretty face. She does have a pretty face, but her forehead just kept sort of tensing up and she was really uncomfortable with her mouth. Lucy's beauty shot last week was sensational. So is this an off day? I'm worried she's too girl next door. At the challenge, she had strategy. If she just applies the strategy into this competition, she could remain here, you know? Victoria huge disappointment this week. She just overworked it. She's thinking so much about it all that she just doesn't let her body naturally do things. Her body was probably the worst out of all the girls. Her shots are almost getting worse rather than better, but she's still got a beautiful shot in her face. I'm just a bit concerned that maybe she's letting the pressure get to her a little bit. But you know what would be nice with her is just to see a little bit more grace about the way she moves. Definitely. She should have grace. She's an ex-ballerina. She's got the grace. I'm just not certain she's actually got the head. Christabel is continuing to surprise me. Mm. She's definitely my favourite, I have to say. I think Christabel just exudes confidence, and I think this picture is exquisite, and I think she's a superstar. I think her only worry is that she'll just start cruising along and she just needs to keep picking up the pace. She can't be complacent because she's getting great reps from us every week. There's more to her than that, I'm sure of it. Well, let's try pushing something else out of her next time round. There'll be no cruising. Laura, girl next door, amazing haircut. I actually really hate the shop. She looks like a suburban housewife just getting out to walking out to get the paper. Oh yeah, I do that. I can see you doing that with the same <laughs> junk in your <laughs> trunks. I definitely think she's not bottom of the pile. I mean I think she's got a great look and I definitely don't think that's the worst photo. The downfall for her on this day was that she let this outfit get it into her head space. Okay. And I'll remind all of you, that's the second time she's let an outfit dictate how she is on a job. Two strikes. It's not her job to like the outfit, and I think she's learned that this week. I suspect you're right. OK, ten photos. We can only keep nine. I think we know who's going home. wonder if she knows. I see ten models in front of me. A few weeks ago, I would have seen ten girls. At this end of the competition, a bad week means you're out of here. The first name I'm going to call is Arjo. You had a good week. That light in your eyes is starting to come through in your photos. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Ruby, you're starting to look like a model with a good attitude. Congratulations. Thank you. Christabel. I love that smile. I'd like to see it on here next week. Thanks. Congratulations. Thanks. Practice makes perfect, Hosanna. I love seeing hard work pay off. Congratulations. Thank you so much. The next name I'm going to call is Rebecca Rose. Congratulations, you're still in the running towards becoming New Zealand's next top model. Thank you. Five girls in front of me. Four photos in my hand. Terrell Lee. Bottom two last week. Does this feel a bit better? Yeah, it feels way better. I'm so surprised and happy. Thank you. Laura. Thank you very much. See you next week. Three girls left. Two photos. The next name I'm going to call is Lucy. Maybe you should have a little more faith in yourself. If you can start to believe, you might be here a bit longer. Thank you. Congratulations. Victoria, Rhiannon, please step forward. Bottom two. Doesn't feel very nice, huh? Not really, no. Victoria, your photos are getting worse. Your confidence seems to be eroding, and I'm not sure why. Okay. 
Rhiannon. You look beautiful standing up there, but your photos aren't coming through. The last photo, and still in the running towards becoming New Zealand's next top model, is Victoria. Rhiannon, I still see a beautiful girl with huge potential, but I see a 16-year-old girl who's just not quite ready yet. When you start modelling, I'd like it to be at the right time, and for a long time, not for five minutes. Come here. Thank you very much. I'm actually really stoked to have come this far. <laughs> I'm all choked up now. I will look forward to seeing you again soon. You will. Go and pack your bags. The thing I'm going to miss most about the experience is the girls. They're all just so brilliant and all so fun and I think that's fair that I'm going home because I'm 16 because I love being a kid. Since I've been on this journey I've learnt so much. I've learnt what a model is. I'm going to go back to school. I'm going to try and get into modelling again and I think I might be a bit of a head turner now when I go back to Blenheim because Blenheim's so small. <laughs> bit of attention for a change. Coming up in the race to become New Zealand's next top model. I need an ambulance. Oh my God. It's more than a trapeze challenge. I just hope I don't pee my pants laughing. It turns the competition upside down. It's like crying on camera. But just who will survive the crying circus? Today was an awful day for me. What's happening there? It sucked. <laughs>